welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have another in-store try-on. So today I am going in to Target and I'm going to do an in-store winter try-on in Target and see what winter clothes they have out right now. I've done a few at Walmart. I've done a winter try-on at home with clothes I already own and also one in-store as well as like an activewear and a few other ones. I will link all those down below but a lot of you guys did ask me to go to Target next so I'm going to go head into Target and see what really cute outfits I can piece together for you guys and share with you what they have out right now for the winter season. So let's go ahead and head right into Target. All right, you guys. So for outfit number one that I put together, I have these light washed denim jeans by Levi's. And I also paired it with just a basic white long sleeve top and also a sweater. So I'm going to be leaving everything linked down below because I'm pretty sure I'm going to forget half the name brands of half the clothes that I tried on. But I did try to show you guys tags while I tried it on. But I did tuck the shirt also inside a little bit in the front. You guys know I like that look. But I am going to show you guys how it looks untucked without the sweater as well. Like I mentioned earlier, I am going to be leaving all the links down below if I can find it. I think there was only one outfit that I could not find and I couldn't link it down below for you guys, but everything else I was able to find. So next I did keep on the same jeans. I just switched out the top, which is just this pullover sweatshirt, which was really soft and really cozy and warm. It had like that cow neck. I love the cow neck when it's super cold outside because it keeps your neck warm. You don't have to worry about putting on like a scarf or anything. And I believe they did have this in one or two other colors next is going to be the outfit that i wasn't too crazy about i liked how it looks like on the hanger and on the mannequin but when i tried it on i just didn't like how it looked on me but i still want to show you guys so you don't have to use it as a set you can totally mix and match this but i did want to show you guys how it looked in a set and the zipper did go all the way down for that little sweater and then it came with a tie string bottom with pockets so it was an okay outfit for me next is going to be this outfit i was wearing these faux leather leggings which was way too big on me i don't remember what size i grabbed but clearly they were too big on me but i paired it with this leopard little spaghetti strap top which i'm obsessed with because i think it looks really nice with the leather leggings but i also think it'll look really cute with like some jeans so this is totally an outfit that I would wear, not that I have anywhere to go to wear this outfit, but I thought it was a really cute outfit. Then I kept on the same faux leggings and I just paired it with this graphic tee and I did get it in an extra large because I like my shirts to be very oversized. I like to tie them and also tuck them in, so I did tie it on the side. This would look a lot better if the faux leggings fit me well and wasn't big, but just wanted to show you guys that really quickly. Next is going to be these jeans and these jeans were super soft they were distressed on the knees but not too much if you guys like distress but you don't like the over distressing these are really great jeans then i paired it with this graphic tee and this graphic tee was super affordable i think it was on sale for like eight dollars and then i just paired it with a faux leather jacket it was like a dark chocolatey brown it wasn't black but i i really liked the jacket and i liked how this outfit went together so next, I did keep on the same jeans. I just switched out the top for this pullover sweater shirt. And this was like a low cut um, turtleneck. It wasn't a turtleneck that went up really high. And it was a really pretty plum, like maroon color, super soft. And I think they also had this in black, if I'm not mistaken. Next is going to be this comfy outfit. I would call this like my mom outfit. I had these distressed jeans that were so comfortable. I'm really tempted to go back for these. They were high-waisted, so they are going to suck you in. And then I just paired it with another graphic tee that I got in two sizes large because I wanted it to be oversized so I can tie it on the side. And I think this is a really cute everyday type of outfit to run errands or just hang out. I also want to show you guys how it would look if I just tucked it in a little bit in the front instead of tying it and then also pairing it with a leather jacket. I do think it'll look better with a black leather jacket, but I was just trying to give you guys different options. Next is going to be these black distressed jeans. I wasn't too crazy about the jeans. They weren't that comfortable or flattering on myself, so I wasn't a fan of it, but I still want to show you guys. But I did really love this sweater top. This is another really cute, um, comfy sweater top. It had like the design on the side where it was 
crystal it and i feel like if you get this maybe one or two sizes up you can totally like wear it with leggings because it'll be longer i did tuck it in a little bit in the front to show you guys how it looked untucked and also tucked you guys know i love this look so i would probably tuck it in the front but if i were to go like two sizes up i would wear it with leggings but this is another really cute top all right, you guys, so I am now back in the car from going into Target and trying some clothes on for you guys. They had a ton of new stuff out, and I know Walmart is cheaper than Target, but I'm going to admit right now that I'm liking Target's clothing right now for winter season much better than Walmart, and that's really surprising for me to say because you guys know I love Walmart. I love their clothing, and I'm always raving about it, but all the stuff I tried on here at Walmart, I was obsessed with, other than one outfit. There was one outfit that I wasn't crazy about, but there was so much much cute stuff there's a lot more that I didn't get around to trying on just because I didn't want the fitting room people to think I was crazy because I was lugging in like huge piles of clothes into the fitting room to try on so if you guys would like me to do a part two and come back and try on some more because like I said there was a lot more that I would have wanted to try on that I didn't get around to trying on let me know in the comments and also give this video a thumbs up and maybe I can do a part two soon for you guys but they had a lot of cute stuff like I said I tried my best to piece as many things together as possible that I would wear that I like so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's in-store try on and again I will try to do the same thing like I do for Walmart where I try my best to find links and link it down below for you guys just in case you guys are interested in any of the pieces that I tried on I've never really linked anything from Target so I don't know if it'll be easier or harder than Walmart but like I said I will try my best if I can find it I will leave it linked down below for you guys as always thank you so much for watching today's video if you have not already please consider subscribing subscribing and turning on your notification bell. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlogmas video.